So yeah, it's ridiculous how much snow has fallen this year. So yeah. I mean, I remember, although we were living in Atlanta, well, well not Atlanta, but a <laughs> suburb in Atlanta in 2010, I believe. That was a pretty cold uh, winter down there. I heard that the Northeast has gotten a lot of snow back in 2010. A lot of it, just like this year. And I think one day, while we were in Atlanta, and when I mean Atlanta, I mean suburban Atlanta. It was snowing once again. Actually, no. It only snowed once, but still. So, yeah. And, well, although this year, Atlanta got a really bad ice storm, which kind of, and it was ridiculous. Well, in 2010, we got a day off. We got one day off because of the snow. It snowed for one day, and then it snowed for one day, and then and I'm just walking around here. It snowed for a day, and then it all melted away. But still, it was a it was a pretty cold winter that year for for us down in Atlanta. Even though we didn't get as much snow as we did this year, or at least people in Philadelphia. Um, yeah. So, okay, guys, so I don't know where to go, so I'm gonna unless I can talk to this guy again. No, he's sleeping. Oh, the what? Okay, never mind. Whoa! That threw me in for a loop, guy. I was wondering who it might be. And then it turns out to be just like the Dornian. Or Donian. Your clothes look so different. I hardly recognize you, guy. Don't you know it's dangerous to wander around the woods without a light? I gave you the lantern, guy. Why don't you use it? It's kind of rough out here lately, so be careful, okay? There are so many monsters now, I had to close the gate to the temple. But, you guy, want to get back there, huh? Yeah. You sure geared up for it. So here you go. Thank you very much, sir. You got the small key, which opens the gate to Farron Woods, north. Oh yeah, the woods on the other side of this cave. They're covered in really thick fog. So make sure your lantern is full. You're definitely going to need to use your lantern a lot in there. So bring all the oil you can. Check this out. I have a special one-time offer. Bottle full of well, 100 rupees. Um, no thanks. I think I'm good. What? That's not right, guy. For free, man. Mm. Now to sell oil on its own. So come back when you run out, guy. Well, guess what? I only have 98 rupees. Oh, no, guy. This won't do. You don't have enough rupees. Yeah, exactly. I can't buy it because I don't have enough. And that's the point. Maybe I'll get, maybe I'll get my second bottle later. Wait a minute. What's the other thing? 20 rupee refills. Okay, I don't have enough. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty f pretty much full on that. So... Yeah, pretty much. See, about 75% of the way. So yeah, we actually found... Okay, so we needed to talk to that guy. I did not even... I think the last time I played this game, I couldn't figure out how to get through the gate either. All I needed to do was talk to that guy. Okay. Now when I walk into this... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, ow. Okay, that part of the lamp... That part of the cavern is pretty dark. And... I already... Ow! Stop! Stop fighting me, you piranha plants! 
I know, different game, but they look like piranha plants anyway. This isn't Super Mario, this is a Zelda game. Still though. Alright, we're out of that cavern. So yeah, you know, now what do we do? Well, wait a minute. Midna? Even with the light back, this place kind of looks the same. But hey, what about your lantern? Seller said, don't be stingy. It's better to burn all of it to water in the dark fog. Okay, so we have to use our lantern. Or not. Apparently, the chimp took it. Oh wait, no, it's telling us to follow her. You idiot! While you were staring off in dreamland, your lantern got stolen. He's... she's telling us... telling me to follow her! You're crying out loud. Okay. If Nigna can only see... understand what... what she's trying to do. And in this case, help us. Or help me, at least. Alright, so basically we have to go back up to that temple and we have to... Well, this will take a while. I wonder if we have to protect her or anything. Oh yeah, we do. Speak of the devil. Okay, so we have to protect her in case enemies show up. I knew something was gonna be I knew we had to we had something else to do. We didn't just have to like wait here for her to waste or get rid of the mist. We needed to protect her from enemies in the area. And speaking of enemies looked like it was going to stab her and not the enemy. Or both. Uh-oh. Here comes a more dangerous enemy. There. Your biting days are over, Mr. Piranha Plant. See? I think they look like Piranha Plants because they're those creatures with those big maroon heads and big mouth. Do we have oil? No. We got the lantern back. It ran out of oil while we were following the monkey around. Um, yeah. I just remembered though there's that uh, one area where we ha we, c we can buy lantern oil. We don't need... The only good news is that we don't need the lantern in this area. Still though. Oh, there's something over there. We'll get to that. Welcome, hey, buy something, anything. Yeah. I'll buy something. Oil my lantern. Oh yeah. Of course I'm gonna need it for later on too. So I'm gonna need to put forty forty rupees, I believe. Thanks, thanks. Hey, thanks so much. Yeah, don't mention it. Uh, last time I got poked by this bird. Alright, we got some kind of wolf here. If we get close enough, he'll jump right on us. 
but we're not. And take us to some kind of place. What's well, some kind of creature? Ow! What was that? A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. Was that part of the script? We may be destined to become the hero of legend, but your current power will disgrace the proud green of the hero's tunic you wear. Yeah. You must use your courage to seek only power, and then find it you must. Only then will you, you become the hero for whom this world despairs. If you do try and find true courage, and you wish to save Hyrule from horrors it now faces, then you will be worthy to receive the secrets I hold. Okay. We're gonna get some hidden skills every time we encounter that wolf. Enemies that are filled with energy will quickly recover and attack again, even when stunned by a powerful strike. The ending blow is a secret technique used to unstunned enemies to end their breath before they spring back into action. When an enemy lies collapsed on the ground, de-target and press A without delay. And strike. When you and you have when it says finish, that's when you that's when you strike. You'll see right here. Now, like that. Hmm, that was a pinpoint strikes. Never overlook the opportunity to finish with a first hidden skill, the ending blow, is it passed on. Simple as that. There are seven hidden skills in this game. So there are six hidden skills I will need to learn. Although, well, hold on. Those are only one who carries the blood of the hero. The one whose spirit that is of the sublime beast. Grow powerful. Test your courage. And when you find that you'll need another skill to overcome the threats that face you, search for the statues of that howl with the sound of the wind. Seek the sound that calls to the spirit of the beast to waken me again. The sword wields no strength unless the hand holds it as courage. Remember those words. Farewell. So yeah, there are seven hidden skills in this game. And the ending blow was one of them. And uh, personally, I've actually beaten this game with only five of the hidden skills. So you don't need to know all of them. But you do need to know most of them. Uh, we could go to the Hidden Temple, but this episode's getting too long. I don't want to fight these enemies just yet. We'll do that in the next part. So thanks for watching. This is Drew Mario. This episode's getting too long, so I'll just end it here. Anyway, I will see you in the next part.